All right, this is about 10 feet of quarter inch Paramax. The first thing I'm gonna do is tie in a sliding loop. And so imagine if I were going to tie in just a simple overhand knot to make this a sliding loop. The only problem is this thing is gonna come right undone, right? So instead of just going around once, I'm gonna go around twice and then I plug it in, right? Now I have two wraps going around the line. Well, for this loop, I'm actually gonna use three. So give myself plenty of room. There's one, two, three. Then I'll tie it just like if I were doing an overhand knot. And now I have a barrel knot holding my loop. And the important thing here is once I pull this tight, I want it to stay in place. I don't want it to slide off the bottom of the cylinder. I start with the handle of my propane tank facing the tailgate. Then I'm gonna take my loop and I'm gonna open it up enough so that I can fit around the bottom ring of the propane cylinder here. There we go. I'll take a bite of my rope and I'll thread it through this D-ring anchor. And then I'll pull it tight into the corner. Now I'll take the bite and I'll expand enough so I can go around the body of the tank. Don't want to go all the way down, just around the midline. Okay. Now if I were to pull on this enough, it's going to lift up the tank. And I want to use that to my advantage. I want the weight of the tank to add to the tension of the system. So I'm going to pull this up about an inch, go around the tank, and settle it back down. Now I'm going to take this handle and I'm going to treat it as if I were tying a boat off to a dock. I'm just going to wrap it around, tie in a half hitch, pull it tight. Same thing on this side, half hitch, pull it tight, half hitch, and pull it tight. There we go. And now when I want to untie it, I just simply undo the hitches I put in. I tilt this forward. 